There you go, I'm Mick at Digger Mate here. In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to learn to drive a skid steer loader. Want the best rates on mini excavators and tight access earth moving equipment? Go to diggermate.com.au and get it done with Diggermate. Regardless of whether it's a tracked machine or a wheel machine, learning the controls and how to operate a skid steer loader is all the same. Pete is in the track loader and he's going to show you how to do it. Now for the learning process of how to operate these machines in the correct manner, you need to know the understand the operations of how everything works. Um, for instance, we'll just go through some movements now, which is raising your bucket, lowering the bucket, tilt your bucket forward, crowd your bucket back. So once you've understand that, bring your bucket back to a good safe travel level. After that, just learning to move forward. In reverse, always look over your shoulders before reversing. Make sure it's clear. Learning to drive forward and then lift the bucket up going forward. Going in reverse and lowering the bucket down into the same position. Learning how your controls learn for turning the vehicle. Reversing back, lifting up again, driving forward, lower. And once you learn how to use those movements there, learn to lower your boom down so it locks in. Then tip your bucket forward slowly till you see the teeth. You can actually see them through the window, touch the ground, and then from there, just watch the teeth that they are actually picking up some material, and that will tell you your bucket's at the right angle for picking up material off the ground. Scoop up, learn to crowd that bucket, lift slightly and reverse up. Then for tipping out, so once you understand it, learn to lift your bucket slightly, never too high. Always learn to keep your bucket at a reasonable level. Tip the material out on the ground, watching your bucket doesn't hit at the same time. Crowd your bucket back, reverse up and then just repeat the process. Lower it down till the boom locks in, tip your bucket forward, and once the tip's forward, then you can watch the teeth, and just watch how they're going. If they dig too quick, it means you're pushing down too hard. You lift the bucket up as you're moving, crowd your bucket back, drive backwards, drive forward again, lift your bucket up to a safe height, and tip the material out. Always remember while you are moving, you adjust your bucket ready for the next move. When you're finished, lower the bucket, make sure it's on the ground, idle down and shut off the machine. So when you're learning, take your time on each of those steps. You can spend five or 10 minutes on each of those steps to get it right before you move on to the next bit. Now, Driving any of these machines is 90% feel. So practice makes perfect. Make sure you get out there, practice plenty of it, and after a while, it'll just become second nature. Thanks for watching. To get the best prices on machinery hire, book machines, see specs and availability, go to diggermate.com.au. If you found this video useful, please be a mate of ours and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the share link below and share this with your friends and give us a thumbs up.